lucky enough to stumble into the epic tour trailer here at the web.com at the uh, Knoxville New Sentinel Open, sponsored by Pilot, uh, the 2017 at Fox Den Country Club. Uh, that tournament starting on Thursday, running through Sunday. And we've run into a Tennessee boy right here in the Callaway Pit trailer. Tell us a little bit about your background and uh, your roots to East Tennessee. Well, um, I grew up in South Florida, actually in Fort Lauderdale, and came to school here in 1987 on a golf scholarship, played for Mike Malarkey. Played four years and uh, a Florida Gator got out of oh, got out of Florida uh, to come yeah. to Rocky I, I Top. I wasn't having anything to do with them Gators. Are your parents still talk to me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So um, tell us what you did for the the web.com guys. These guys got a lot of guys on the bubble, so I guess yep. at this level of play, it's a lot more important to uh, have the right club in your hand. Huh? Yeah, it is. I'm I'm part of a three man team out here that travels to seventy five percent of the web.com events, and um, we constantly tweak equipment we check specs uh, when guys are struggling we may do some shaft testing we may go to a different model driver or fairway woodhead so what do you set up to do specifically i see you we, we are set up in this here. is a laboratory here it is a lab and uh, this can build a, an entire set of golf clubs driver three putter in you know under a couple hours wow. start to finish Wow. There's nothing on here that we can't do. We can grind on wedges. Uh, we have all different kinds of shafts from the different shaft manufacturers, the grip manufacturers. So whatever is really uh, kind of the trend. With so the you we follow have. these guys to the tour. So uh, a course like Fox Den, you know, a driver can get you in trouble on a few holes here. That's so they right. may be looking for maybe a utility or something. That yeah, we haven't had much of that today, but, you know, it's still only Monday. They're just rolling in town. Some of the guys haven't even seen the course yet, but yeah, you're right. Um, three woods and driving irons are the deal around here, especially as far as these guys hit it. You can't really hit drivers out here. There's just not enough room. But uh, you know, we'll also maybe tweak some wedges, uh, less or more bounced. You know, there's a little bit more grass here. It's a little grainier, so guys might find that they need a little bit more bounce this week. The bunkers are very firm here, so. You know, usually less bounce out of a firm bunker or a wider sole would help. Um, well, this thick Bermuda is a monster, isn't it? It, it is. So do you do, uh, now Callaway has the uh, M grind. Yeah, uh, MD forged. Yeah. MD forged grind, and, and it comes out of the box pretty much. Uh, uh, yeah, we have so many um, grind and bounce configurations. We rarely have to do much grinding. If you can't find one of the I don't even know how many SKUs we have. Twenty probably. Wow. If you can't you find something. Do a little something more long there, don't hear a lot of drivers. Drivers, drivers too much. Drivers some too much. A lot of some five woods. Some. Uh, Let's talk about that. Some uh, apex, yeah. Some of the. How you kind of setting them up for the course, right? That's yeah, a lot of the other. Yeah, the two main things is we don't really. There's not a lot of change in week to week. You try to get their equipment. You know, they play so many courses. This is a Mike Sposi. He's our uh, tour manager here. He's just so hey, Mike. Hey. I'm John. I'm John Stallings with Golf Guys. Yeah, nice to see you. I wanted to do a little. Uh, we cover the East Tennessee market and we cover nationally too. Oh, good. Just run yeah, off the shelf. What's the it's technology? Hard, it's, there? it's hard to beat it. The jailbreak technology. Um, the two titanium rods connect the sole plate and the crown. Have you got? Have you got a head in here, buddy? Chance. I want these guys to see. This monster, uh, literally, the jump, the face, the ball, the jump off of that face. Yeah. So these two rods connect the sole plate and the crown. What happens at impact? Um, people thought the face would flex. The ball obviously flattens when you slow down the camera. You can see the ball flatten against the face. But what actually happens to the head? It starts to elongate vertically. So it separates and expands. And those rods connect the sole plate with the crown and eliminate the separation. So the ball speed and rebound off the face is much faster. And you haven't given up that uh, classic Callaway sound either. I haven't I given up the sound nice and clip, haven't given up the forgiving aspect that are always in our clubs. The MOI is very high in them, so they're super forgiving. And with all the adjustability, this is the <coughs> Sub-Zero model, so we can alter launch and spin because we put a weight heavier weight in the back if they want to hit it higher or the heavier weight up front. So standard, down. is it a low spin or a high spin club? This is a more fade friendly, lower spin model. The standard great big Epic is a little bit more draw friendly, which Greg has here. 
and it has a slider. So this is more of a directional fix. The guy's over slicing, over Gas drawing. Slicing this, yeah. yeah. Great product. Uh, and we have it. It's about a 50-50 split with guys that are in sub-zero. In the tour bag? Yeah. Gotcha. So you have a little more custom customizable Absolutely. options to that. Yeah. Now, how, what big a role does shaft weight and shaft play? You know, I, I, I ran into that my own self with what's the difference between 65 and 54. And I know the tour players are cutting shorter. You know, they got some pretty short it's shafts a, now. It's a field thing, and you can see with Greg back there all the different shaft Say options. Say hey, Greg. Hey, guys. All the different Welcome. shaft options that we have on here. You know, it's it's not only a weight thing, it's a balance point. Some guys like the feel of a counterbalance shaft where there's more weight in the handle and it makes the tip section livelier. Um, some guys want to feel the head more. Yeah, some guys, you know, some guys want to feel the handle. Some guys want to feel a stiffer tip section. It just really is player, you know, dependent. There's and no so how many options. options would you get into that? If hundreds. We, if hundreds, we, hundreds of options. Because you know, you're dealing with at least six or seven shaft manufacturers and each of those shaft manufacturers easily have 20 plus SKUs in, wow. in all the different weights from 50 through 8. So your specialty is you pretty much know what you can do. Yeah. From conversation with the golfer. You well yeah and say, there's hey, shaft reps on site each week so right. if we have you know questions on you know balance points or you know any kind of uh, you know they call it EI profile so the curve of the shaft they have all that information and, and will assist with us. Now, are they still doing hot melt? Are they still putting hot There's a hot melt, melt gun right plus. here. Check this out. That That is, uh, so you've got we, we call it rack there. glue, but yes, it's internal. <laughs> Once glue. it goes in, it's in though, right? It's not coming out. Yeah, that's what I thought. It goes in there, what, about 350 degrees? It's, it's hot. It's yeah. If you get it on you, it's not good, and you yeah. need to go to the hospital. I got you. It coming off. So it stays in the, inside the head. It, it stays on the in, inside the head, and it goes in, and you can feel it immediately in your palm, how hot it gets. And you have a, you know, where you, you have five or ten seconds or so to maybe manipulate it a little bit, but to just hold it. And after fifteen, and that'll seconds, affect ball flight as well, wouldn't it? Would yeah, it'll move the CG location. Yeah. So right. the center of gravity. Center if, center a guy, right. if a guy wants to draw it more than say he could get with this or or if he has the sub-zero model where we don't have the sliding weight we could put a little bit more of the glue to get it to swing with and he's really and he's, he he's literally building a club to get him around a particular golf course to it i mean they yeah, are or, or maybe way. or or it could you be know, he's working with his teacher on a new swing and his a path has changed a little or attack angle so now we have to build a club to accommodate the swing change that he's been making with his coach not not necessarily for uh, hole shapes. We do see it with elevation changes. If we're playing at high elevations, you know, guys are going to go with more loft to get it in the air to, you know, benefit from the high altitude. Whereas you get down closer to sea level, you know, change a little bit. Or if a course is really wet, you need more loft to get in the air. If it's really dry, he's going to go lower loft to chase it down the fairway more. Gotcha. Man, it's been so great, and uh, thanks again too. We, you didn't get much air time, but I'm pretty sure you do all the grinding back here. He does all the work. He does all the yeah, work. Yeah, we just sit here and watch. You communicate what they need done. You tell him what to do. I just well, do what I'm told. It sounds like a love hate relationship, <laughs> guys. I want to thank you so much for sharing with our readers the uh, the intricacies. That, you know, they just be uh, mind boggling the level these guys want to play and the, the options that Callaway this provides is, them. To, this is a NASCAR pit group. But for golf, literally. What and, and as you can see, Doug's probably uh, Doug's behind the camera over here. And Doug's probably showing you all the empty drawers. I, gu I guarantee you, one of these drawers are full of some some diamonds. So I'm John Stallings with Back Nine Media, publishers of Golf Guide Directory. We want to thank Callaway once again for letting us come in the trailer. We're at the 2017 Knoxville Nissan Lowe's, presented by. Pop